previously. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Oh! Yeah, it's all your fucking fault! This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Ave. We've just returned home and found the lights on. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just gonna fight back, you fucking bitch. No. Oh, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, a heart attack. Just me and my dad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push him you. away. Get back. Oh, 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 oh. Leo. So we're gonna pressure him, okay? Burn! 28 stab wood. 28 stab wood! You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. Begging for but mercy. You um. Oh, oh, intervene, intervene. That's enough. Why? Oh my god! Watch out! Oh my god, no! No! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you all having a fantastic day. Malcolm here, and welcome back to some more Detroit Become Human. Guys, we're just gonna hop straight back in from where we were at, and uh, yeah, let's go. Please, I like please your control interior the plug decorating. Get me away from this thing. Let's sit down. Give him a quick check, chitty chat chat. Oh yeah, so I, I'll give you a quick analyze. Let's go up and down. Mm hmm. Okay, clues. What we got? Something on his chest? What is that? Some dried blood. Okay, I'm not surprised. He stabbed the guy 27 times. Uh, oh, you go Oh, that must have been a baseball bat, right? Yeah. Uh, baseball bat here as well on his left arm. Cool. Uh, wait, was that a cigarette? Oh, someone burned him with a cigarette. Probably the guy hitting him with the baseball bat. We got his chest. His uh, logo. I'm taking it. Uh, housekeeper. Okay. He's just, just saying he's the housekeeper. And we got this. Processing lead. Okay. Guys, we're about to interrogate him. So get ready, because this is going to get intense. Level of stress, 35%. All right. So we have fear. We have wounds and we have name. Um, You know what? We're going to go with his name. We're going to see who he is. What's your My name, name is droid? Connor. Oh. What about you? What's your name? Oh. <laughs> we went lower? Okay. Um, Fear or wounds? Okay. I'm going to go with wounds. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Did he beat you? Can you talk? I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Tell us. What? Comfort in him went lower? Probe memory. Trust. Okay, okay. No. Mm, okay. I'm gonna trust. If this goes lower, I'm, I'm threatening him. Help you. But you've got to trust me. Th All that's I it. Want is to get you out of here. I'm I'm frightening you. You I don't, don't care. seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Oh wait, interrogating him more makes him go up higher. Okay. What? <gasps> He's talking. What are they gonna do to me? Give him the truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? Uh, let's go truth again. I that was seems programmed to be working. To yeah. like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Well, then give us the truth. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Oh, so we get to choose our approach now. Okay, so we can probe its memory, pressure it, or convince. I notice when we be more synthesizing, that's probably not a word, or reassuring, he seems to go more stressful, but I don't know if making him more stressful is a good thing or a bad thing. But I'm gonna take it, it's a good thing uh, in this interrogation situation, so so we're gonna pressure him, okay? Bro! 
God! 28 stab wounds. 28 stab wounds! You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? You gotta pressure me even more. He was bleeding. Begging you for mercy. Begging for mercy. But you stabbed him. Again and again and again. Oh, please. Please leave me alone. Okay, I kind of feel- No I way. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please. Oh, that stress level's stop. going up fast. No, we need to get the information though out of him. I feel bad, but we have Just to. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it. Give it up, boy. Just say you killed him. Just say it. Okay, maybe we were, we pushed the line a bit. You tortured me every day. Okay. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared how though scared he might destroy me scared i might die so i grabbed a knife and i stabbed him in the stomach i felt better so i stabbed him again and again until he collapsed There was blood everywhere. See, the disturbing thing is he enjoyed that. He enjoyed stabbing that dude 28 times. So writing that uh, to RA9. What's an RA9? Attic. I want to know about the attic. Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. <clears throat> I was scared. So I hid. Okay. I wanna I wanna keep talking to this guy. I wanna know all the information. I'm a proper detective now. <laughs> when did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. That's strange One how they can do it. I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. Hatred. I knew what I had to do. Okay, so now we only have the option to write him up. Statue or RA9. I want to find out what RA9 is. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Oh. No more threats. No more humiliation. That is that how Kara and Marcus broke out of the commands? Is that how they broke out of the commands? Writing, I want to see the this sculpture one. in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering, so I'll be saved. Okay. Let's talk about the writing. Why did you write "I am alive" on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Okay, offering. The sculpture was an <clears throat> offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Who is RA9? Only RA9 can save us. Is that the, the, the robot master or something? Insist RA9. RA9. Who is RA9? Imagine if RA9 is the girl that talks to us on the screen, the main screen. I'm just taking a guess here, guys, but you never know. No, no, I just feel like it would be her. I'm done. All right, let's get up. We're done with you. So they're planning on something. 
They're gonna take over the human race. Leave the interrogation room. What the fuck is it? It's destroying itself. Oh. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! Um. Uh, intervene, intervene. That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Why? Oh my god! Watch out! Oh my god, no! No! Holy shit! No, Connor! Oh! This game always catches me off guard every single second, man. I'm making stupid decisions. I generally feel like I want to tear up for Connor. Wait, but he came back. No! I refuse to believe he's dead. How was the robot's accuracy that good as well? That, that, that deviant was literally a serial killer in the making. Are we back as Kara and Alice? I think we are, guys, on the bus. But what the hell? No! Why couldn't he have shot Hank? I mean, I guess we did pressure him, but like... No, dude. All right. End the line. Oh, guys, I messed up. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Where are they gonna go? Oh, look at Alice. All right, let's wake Alice up. Wake up. We have to go. All right. I'm your new mom, Alice. Let's go. Don't worry, though. I won't beat you like uh, Todd. I ain't that type of mom. All right, let's, let's uh, leave the bus. Wait, stay here or shelter? Yeah, nah, I'd rather find shelter. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Oh. Bro, we need to find, like... Maybe we could meet up with... Wait, is Marcus dead? I mean, we still didn't find out if he's dead yet. You gonna be okay? Oh. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Oh, we're playing out here. Oh my god, look at that bus stop over there. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. You think we can talk to them, guys? You're like me. Can we have some help? You guys are the same, but we can talk to them. Hello? Oh, we need crazy. a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? All right, well. Oh, that's because they haven't broke out the command, have they? Obviously, Kara has. That's why she's acting more like a human now. Uh, we got a store, uh, a parking lot, uh, something over there. I don't know what that is. And we got a motel. Don't walk. Oh, that's cool. It tells us when to walk and when not to walk. But, like, it's futuristic. Okay, we're not going to cross. I need to teach Alice I'm a good I'm a good guardian. Yeah. Looks motel like would probably be our best stay. option. Because uh, we can get a nice little bed for Alice. How much is that? 40? Whatever that is. Forty dollars. We're not going in. We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform, or go somewhere else. Oh, I feel so bad for. Her. Where are we gonna get forty dollars? Who's most likely around here to give us forty dollars? Wait, Alice, where are you going? Uh, come for Alice. Wait, why? Oh, at the bus stop. Oh, wait, what's going on? Are you okay? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. Oh god. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. I don't know if I trust this guy. Wait, what? But that's on the other side of town. 
We need a place for tonight. What? We just teleported. What was that thing they just done with her hands as well? Come on, Alice. I don't know. Thank you for using Detroit buses. I'm so sorry, Alice. So Todd's fault. Anyone around here got $40? Huh? Y'all got $40? Realistically, who's gonna give us $40 here, though? Look, the store is still open. Maybe yeah. we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Alright. Hello? What do you want? Jamie Fox, can we I'm please have $20? And $40? we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Oh! We can steal. Okay, we can steal, we can shoplift, or find a plan. Desperate times call for desperate measures. No, if we gotta steal, we have to steal. Alice, you be the lookout, okay? Here. Yeah, give me some uh, chocolate bars, please. Food for Alice. Perfect. Oh, yeah, because Kara doesn't eat. She's an android. Get food for Alice. That's fine. That that makes our situation easier. Steal. Yep. Chuck it right in there. There you go, Kara. <gasps> take. Okay, I don't... Actually, maybe to comfort Alice. You know what? We'll take we'll take the fox. He's going to say I don't think that's uh, useful. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Put that back right now. I didn't steal anything. Put it, okay, fine. Hey, I was just keeping it in there, ready to pay for it. Look, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 right. Just get the hell out of my store. I mean, we got the chocolate bar. I'll take a chocolate bar. Come on, Alice. I should have stole from the register. Why can't I say register properly? It's okay, Alice. We're gonna find some place to sleep tonight. Bro, it's her little face that just gets me. Over Alice, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, what's in here? Can we go in here? Uh, find shelter for the night. Oh no, I don't know. That abandoned car is too rusty. I don't think we want to sleep in there. I I'd rather not go with the car. Oh wait, oh, do we have to go with the car? Okay, I'm taking it. This is our only option. I take it though, if you choose different like decisions, like if we stole from the guy's store, we would have got like maybe a different outcome. Or maybe it would have cost anyway, but like, you know, it's cool how you can get different outcomes. Like, to be fair though, I didn't want to sleep in the car if we're going to sleep in the car. I just feel like that looks like really bumpy and horrible. Oh wait, mm, it's not too bad. It's it not looks the best abandoned. though either. Oh. There you go. One more. Stand back, Alice. Alice, I'm about to break it. Stand back. There we go. All right, let's uh, open that nice and easy. All right, there we go. Alice, hop on in. Hop on in, Alice. It's not the best, but it's something. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Yeah. Can't we find a better place? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. No, I'm gonna do it for you, Alice. Okay. Okay. We'll find you a we'll better find place. We'll find somewhere better. So we do have more options. Then. I wanna, I wanna sleep in the whole, uh, the motel, but we need forty bucks. Uh, wait, 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 wait! Open the back car. Maybe there's money there. No, I just. Oh wait, I thought I said the boot. No, close it, close it, close it. No, I didn't mean to press stay here. We're better off staying, Alice. No. The important thing is for us to be safe. No. And it's just for tonight. All right, you know what? It's fine. Guys, I did not mean to press that. I thought it was gonna like search the back or something. Oh, I messed up. I mean, at least we're safe. That's all that matters, I guess, like Kara said. Oh, warm up Alice. Do I have like a heater inside of me? No? Oh, okay. We're not that advanced. Maybe the car has heat. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I 
just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? You're so you sad, us. man. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I'll never go, Alice. I promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? Mm -hmm. Forever. Forever. I'm not crying, you are. Yo, that actually like made me sad. Like, stop. So we chose for Alice and Kara to stay in the abandoned car. I'm still, okay, so I take it we're gonna come back to Marcus. Is that him on the floor? I don't think he's dead. I 100% knew he wasn't dead, even if he did get shot. Yeah, reboot. Reboot, 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 reboot. There we go. Damn. He took a bullet straight through the left of his head. I mean, the right. What is that? Oh, they disposed of him. Okay, but I still need to know what happened to, like, Connor. Like, still, like, Connor, still worrying me. Clues to analyze. Uh, obviously, we'll do his eye first. That's really noticeable. Uh, corrupted mind pal. Guys, do you reckon uh, he felt that? He's more like human like now and he broke out of like the commands. So maybe he actually felt the bullet. Cause like he kind of looks like he's like, what just happened? Oh, what happened to his, wait, replace his legs? Oh God, what happened to his legs? They teared him apart. I need my legs back. You got this Marcus. Oh, come on. Here you go, buddy. Oh my god, where's your legs? Oh, there they are. There's one. There's one. Pick it up. Analyze it and pick it up. Can we put that back on? I think we can. Yeah, I think it's okay. God, this- he looks like an animatronic! Wait, it didn't work. We gotta do it- oh, do I have to hold? Oh yeah, I did. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, that's so nasty as well because like it's been through the rain and the mud. Alright, I think he's good. Well, not exactly good, but there it is. Pick it up! Uh, wait, incompatible. So is that not ours? Is that one just not gonna hop on? Or are we gonna use like someone else's? Well, I just realized, are these even our, the first leg we put on, is that even our leg? Ugh! His jaw was like stuttered. Um. Yeah, that's compatible. Chuck that one on Marcus. You got that. All right, let's uh, give me this. Oh, there's one behind you. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Oh, he's moving. Oh, plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Wait, you can see his heart. Oh, God. Wait, they have hearts? That one right there on the left is moving. Escape. Oh, I'm getting away from you. I'm sorry, man. You like messed up. I don't care. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Oh, goodness. Ha! Ah! Get off me! Who the hell is Jericho? Guys, keep in mind as well, we still have that RA67 person as well. So, where all the androids are going, I think. Or, well, the Deviant said that's where they're all trying to go. To, like, the new master. Is this a horror game?! Oh, this is horrible. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Marcus, you got this. Marcus, push over. Come on, we got this, we got this. Oh, choke. Get off me! Get off me. Oh. Oh. This is so creepy. Bro, it's like every android for himself. Replace damaged parts? Uh, okay. Oh, God, this is all messed up. Can I have some of your body, please? Incompatible? Okay, I don't need it. I don't need your eye. Yo, what is going on? That guy just flopped. Examine. Do you have any- Whoa! Okay, okay, it's fine. You know what? You can keep your eye. What the hell is going on? Oh, he's got my leg. 
end it. I don't want to live anymore. All right, got you. Guys, I'm not a bad person. I'm killing him because he wants to die. I'm putting him out of his misery. See, we didn't we didn't do that because we're bad. We've done that because he wanted it. He wanted it. I wasn't just gonna let him sit there and suffer. Is there any eyes we can use that are compatible? Poor guy, man. Whoa! Let's get up. Get up, Marcus. See, we can't even use our scanner thing because it's broken. Oh, this guy might have an eye. Or this woman. Um, compatible? I'll take it. Okay, she's not gonna let me take it. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need it. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. She said, oh, I feel bad. She was like, I want to live. And I was just like... I'm sorry, I need that. I'm sorry. Oh, I feel bad for that. But where else would we have got the part? I don't know. I don't think we would have. Ah. Uh. Oh, they're freaky. By the way, it's not uh, it's not my audio right now that sounds bad. It's the game, like, uh, cause I don't, cause he's not his ears all like junked up and stuff. Uh, has he got an eye? Compatible. Let's go. That's what we needed. That's the eye we needed. All right, we need to just pull this out. Oh, don't come to life. Hello. I'm oh, he's still alive. Hi. I'm gonna have your eye. What can I do for you? You could let Hello. me have your eye, please. Go twist that out I and chuck it in my. Oh, it's kind of disgusting. I we have to use all these different parts. Oh, look at that. The hell's that one then? Have we got everything? Oh, we do. Okay, we can scan again. What is that? Not nah, incompatible. So I need an audio processing thing, I think. Compatible. I'm gonna need your uh, audio uh, thing inside of you. Your audio box. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna grab my hand. I know it. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so is the audio gonna sound better now? Cause uh. Oh. Wait. Everything. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's much louder. That's really cool how it felt like my audio was going as well and not just Marcus's. Okay, climb, Marcus. Climb, buddy. Oh, come on. Come on. Push, Marcus. Come on. We're almost there. Come on, you got that, 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 that's all you. Let's go, Marcus. So it's not just Marcus Kara that are, like, breaking, um, out of the robot state, like, the commands. It's also that Deviant as well that we had in the interrogation room, which makes me think all these other robots are becoming like that as well. I wonder if Connor, well, Connor's dead, but if he does come back, I wonder if he'll become like that. It almost looks like you can feel the rain now. What the hell? What is that? Oh, it's a rock. Oh, he's... What is he doing? Oh, why is he ripping that out? Um, why did he do that? Oh. Why would he rip that out, though? Damn, Marcus, for a robot, you got ab!
Oh, take the cool coat. Oh. Guys, Marcus is bad. Like, I mean, bad isn't cool. Is he gonna go on, like, a rampage now? Marcus came back from the dead. Yes! Oh my god, I knew he'd come back. The amount of times Marcus has died and just came back, though, it's hilarious. I mean, not Marcus, Connor. I got so worried earlier, like, oh. Where are we? Bro, this looks like a- this doesn't even look like the same game. This is so beautiful. Where are we? It's so nice. Hello? Hi. Hello, Amanda. Oh. Connor, it's good to see you. Is she a robot? Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. Yeah. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. <laughs> Avoid being destroyed. It would be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Traumatized deviancy regrets. I think he was traumatized, guys, because I feel like he didn't know what he was doing, but he like he was it just showing out self defense. PTSD after being abused yeah. by its owner, as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Is that the guy from the start? I'm gonna say dysfunctional. I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Friendly, adapt. But what does indifferent mean? I'm gonna go with friendly. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. No, so she's, she's human. She's human. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. I'm on it. Detective Connor and Malcolm on the case. Where are we? Police station? Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Okay, so we gotta look for Lieutenant Anderson. Um, can, can I, I help talk you? To you? Yeah. I'm here to Hi. see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Why did he say that so, like, nervously? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, she's an android. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Is Lieutenant Anderson the guy from the start? Um, or is it, um, Hank's second name? I'm not too sure. <gasps> That's Todd! You smelly little- Oh, he- Is he telling, um, the Detroit Police Department about Alice? Is he trying to look for her? Is it me, or did Connor's color of hair change, like, slightly? It looks more brown. Or am I just colorblind or something? It's that desk right there. Oh. Oh. I think it was this desk here, right? Oh, me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Wait for Lieutenant Anderson. Should, are we actually gonna just sit down in this? Wait. Oh no, it's not his chair. It's like the waiting chair. Okay. okay maybe I'm not gonna wait. Oh. Oh, I can listen to his headphones. What's he listening to? Let me hear. Oh, isn't the rock music? Like heavy metal? Call Hank Anderson. 
Oh, it is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Uh, let's leave a message. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. All right, let's uh have a look at his desk. Might give us some information on where he could be. Of course, he got some donuts. Hank's always eating. Uh, he's got a nice little plant. Okay, Japanese one. Okay, I respect it. You know, coffee cup. Damn, your desk is a mess. Uh, anti-droid slogans. He's got a cap. Okay, he's a fan of a basketball team. Oh, he has a dog. Okay. He has a... That big dog from Beethoven. I forgot the name. And then... Okay. What does... What does that... Connor, what does that tell you? What does that help us with? Oh, there he is. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. <laughs> My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Alright. Can I come in? Oh, I think I can. I'm coming, Hank! What did he do? Guys, what did Hank do? We're about to find out. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Damn. Yeah, it does make me... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Anderson... Pause. Let's ask for Anderson. Well, then. I won't keep you any longer. Wait, what? I pre I Have a nice Anderson. day, Captain. Oh, I think I missed it. I was gonna say, why did they choose Hank? Like, like no offense to Hank, but like this guy's like lazy. He doesn't even want to do it. He barely cares about his job. Maybe Hank's got, I don't know. There must be something about Hank. Like, he must be like really intelligent or something. Uh, new Connor. Uh, let's, let's talk about New Connor. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Let's do partners. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. <laughs> uh, let's go positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. Okay, we're being too I'm positive. I'm sure we'll make a great team. We're trying too hard now. Connor, take, tone it down a bit. Uh, desk. Is there a desk? Anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Okay, so we're gonna analyze the deviancy files. Oh, I freaking love this game, guys. Uh, dog, basketball. Oh yeah, cause uh, we took a look at what his hobbies are, his interests. Uh, dog, 
Basketball music. Let's ask about his dog. I like this dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair is on your chair. I like dogs. <laughs> What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Uh, maybe we should ask that one. <laughs> we literally spilled his drink. Uh, let's ask about Do you music. listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. Okay, we kind of just sound like a stalker. full though. of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Okay, um, I think I'm kind of starting to warm up to him a tiny little, just a tiny bit. Fowler, hours, um, let's ask about the anti-androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Probably because I spilled this drink. Yeah, there is one. Yep. <laughs> uh, what what is Fowler? Let's have have you known Captain Fowler for long? Oh, that's the captain. Yeah, too long. Start working or hours. Let's start working. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Okay, let's go. I was wondering. Oh, wait, we're not. Oh. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Now we can get into uh, the Deviant Files. Yo, I, I noticed as well, when they do stuff, like when Kara touched that guy earlier, the guy who just like teleported, the bin man, their like hands change color. This was the guy we saw at the Bellini paint shop as Marcus. Don't know who he is. He's missing. He's the suspect. He's sus. She's sus. She's missing. Let's uh, let's uh, I want to scan this guy because I remember him from the shop at the start of the game in the first episode. Oh, wait, no, we just scanned all of them? 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Let's go. That report says they cut it with something. Uh, understanding, aggra- Okay, we're not gonna be aggressive towards him. Let's be, a uh, understanding. I understand your feelings, but you need to move past them. All right. And- just, Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Uh, determined, reassign the mission. No, we're not gonna reassign the mission. I, I, I actually- There's something about Hank I like. So we're gonna determine- I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. Oh, I didn't okay. come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. I'm sorry! It up to me, I throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh- Sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. Perfect. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I thought we were getting there somewhere for a second. <laughs> that kind of went... Yeah. That kind of went a bit downhill there. I mean, I didn't expect Connor to go full on. You better listen to me now! Uh, alright. So we got a lead on, uh... Things to do the investigation now. Oh, we're back as Kara and Alice in what's it called? The car. Oh, I really wish we stayed in the motel though. I really didn't mean to do that, guys. I mean, at least she's like comfortable to sleep. 
At least we're not sitting in the rain. It's all about it. Oh, change appearance. What? Oh. Okay. It's uh. Wait, so are we gonna like get a whole... Well, obviously we need to change our clothes because we're uh, an android, but I think Kara's gonna like get a new haircut, new appearance, new everything. All right, that's probably not a good idea to leave her in there by herself, Kara, but you know what? I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave Detroit Become Human here. This was a fantastic, amazing episode. I don't think I fell in love with a game this much in so long. I'm enjoying this. I know this game is really long, which makes me really happy, though, because I think we're only maybe not even a quarter through the game. There's gonna be loads of episodes on this. It's so fun. And, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy it, please turn on the notification bell so you can get notified as soon as I upload the next one. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys all really did enjoy this episode. Uh, take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys in my next one. I'm out. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha